hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this video is about cleaning but i ended up telling a story so this one is just to introduce you to the story but my cleaning video is still going on so enjoy <laughs> one more thing i have to say before i start doing this i'm not wearing my my microphone but it's okay i hope you can hear me my i want to visit my grandmother with my friend and my grandmother to my friend i used to be lazy it's not that i was lazy growing up my mom was a hard-working woman before she died she was a very very hard-working woman and she she had a we had a house help and she was so nice so she it was like everything was being done for us like i, I was still young my mom died in 2007, 2009. 2009, I was like 11 years old. I was still young. I was still growing up. But we had a house help like like below 2009. So you imagine I was young. So, but you know, in Africa, when your kids are growing up, you start teaching them things like slowly and slowly. So for us, we the only thing I remember us doing was carrying this five liters of bottles of water when only sometimes when we, when there was no water in my mom and she said go and fetch water and she would tell us to carry basins those are this kind of stuff i remember uh most of the things were being done for us like brushing our school shoes ironing our uniform but i, I remember i learned i started learning how to iron my uniform when i was in class four or five and i also started learning how to brush my shoes in class four or five but other things I wasn't doing, apart from helping my mom with pegs to peg clothes on the line. So it's like my mom wanted us to have the best, to have, just have a comfortable life, not have to, to struggle. Because for her, when she was growing up, she really struggled. It wasn't like my grandfather was rich or my grandmother was rich. My grandma worked for someone. My grandfather was a medicine this traditional medicine people so yeah so my mom didn't have it all and that is what she did for us she wanted us to have it all <sighs> so when we went to stay with me now this video was supposed to be about cleaning and now it's like i'm telling stories okay i can do both so when when my mom died in 2009 and like we couldn't stay with my dad because there was issues between the two families we had to stay with my grandma for a while for not for a while for a long time so okay so we went we went and stayed with my grandma um everything we had in our house was taken to my grandma's place like not here in kisumu in ushago in ushago so we were just here we were like it was a totally different environment you see how we were used to having our big television in fact we had two one in the bedroom and one in the sitting room now we had just one small one we used to have nice couch nice dining hall nice kitchen fridge with everything if you want oranges if you want bananas if you wanted anything blended juice everything was in that house meat chicken fish everything it's not like when we went to stay with my grandma me and my brother like those things were not there but like there was no lux luxurious things like we were used to we we're just saying in a in this house it was like two rooms i've done a tiktok in my grandmother's house if you've seen it that is where i literally grew up after my mom died so that house it has like a sitting room and a small two rooms but the other one is so small so we used to sleep in the other small room which is also served at the kitchen and then my grandma and my grandfather used to sleep in the bigger one which was also like their sitting room it was nice we were happy we, we were happy but summer I was stressed my brother was stressed i remember my brother got lost that is a story for another video my brother got lost he was found later so yeah we stayed we stayed there we stayed in that house and then now here yeah, we are staying with our grandmothers my grandmother pampered us but she trained us on jobs like she did my laundry until like 
when I joined high school, my grandma could still do my laundry. So the only work I was left to do was wash utensils, which I never used to do, and carry water on my head. That is where I learned how to carry water on my head. That is where I learned how to cook. My mom had taught me how to cook, but not so much because she died before she could teach me everything. No, my grandmother had to teach me all of this stuff. So carrying water on my head, I learned it from my grandmother. Uh, I reached a point when I was in high school. I had a nice school mom. She was, oh my God, she was nice. She was the best. So she would help me. We would wash with her. She would take care of me. Like, I didn't feel, you know, I would miss home. I was young. I joined high school when I was like two. 13 or 12 so i would miss home i would cry i would i'll be like a small baby i know my mom was you know i was like the second and the last child of my mom and my brother was the first and the the only son and i was like the only daughter so we were just two kids so you know the attention you get from your mom when you're the only son and the only daughter is quite a lot so yeah that was it we used to we, we used to really we used to, my grandma taught me a lot, you know, washing the dishes, mopping the house, cooking. So that is the place where I learned how to do all of these things. But my grandmother likes saying I'm lazy. I don't know why. <laughs> so I used to be lazy because everything was being done for me. But I'm not a lazy person because I like staying in a clean place. So maybe I'm lazy, but the fact that I like things when they are organized will push me so hard to start doing things and ensure everything is clean before I sit down and watch my movie or listen to my music. That is just how I am. I might be lazy but because I don't want to stay hungry I will cook early by 6.30, I eat by 7, I've washed my utensils, everything is clean in my house and then I'll sit down and watch a movie. Cause I don't think I'm lazy or maybe I might be lazy but I'm a clean person so that being clean pushes me to do things even if i don't want to so that is what i think so anyway yeah i was raised by my grandmother i went to high school i didn't I, yeah i i reunited with my dad in 2013 that is another st a story for another video actually this video wasn't meant to tell you what i did and where where but anyways i'll make it episode 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 so this episode one is just about where i learned i learned how to do my things so as I've said, from my grandmother's house, most of the things. And life was was never the same, but yeah, I'm who I am because of all the experience I've gone through in, in my life. Like, it's been a lot. And sometimes you feel like, yo, I'm going to give up. But then I remember, oh, giving up where? My mom is dead. My, brand, my, my brother is dead. I hear some, there are a lot of things. And I am the only person who is remaining to continue the lineage of my family. God, I don't want to die before I see my five kids or three or whatever my, my husband decides we are having. So even if my kids will carry the blood of my husband much, they are also carrying the blood of my family. So it's like I'm also continuing my family. Our blood, I don't want our bloodline to like shoot this up here. Yeah, so anyway guys, this video wasn't meant for this, but already I've done this, so I'm still making another video about cleaning for this day. So if you, if I post this one before, the other one before, it doesn't matter, just if you haven't watched any of them, then go back and watch. I love you guys, bye. <laughs> My time.